After a long absence, here we are back in the Great Blader Canyon, one of the finest wet canyons in the world. We're going to explore in the River Ryan Forest today on the banks of the Blader River and perhaps up into the broadleafed woodlands outside of that and see what we find. We're in the Blader River Canyon, the great Blader River Canyon. It's a cool morning with quite a strong wind blowing down off the mountains. What we do find is a flock of southern yellow-billed hornbills just sunning themselves in the first rays of morning sun and preening the wings and feathers, warming into the day. Quite a beautiful bird, just looking at the shape of that beak and the, the beautiful form of it, the color, the wonderful black cutting edge, startling yellow eyes surrounded by red skin. They seem focused on this patch of ground here, foraging what would be now in this dry season termites and ants. Otherwise, for the rest of the year, they would be feeding on small insects, spiders, seeds. But for now, it's termites and ants, and they pry them out of the grass roots. And somehow, these huge bulls delicately consume this food source. And always the focus of interest, this beautiful curved bill beak. A nice introduction for us coming back to the Blader Canyon. So that was a group of um, southern yellow-billed hornbills. They seem to gather in groups at this time in this uh, early winter. It would be three months before they lay their eggs. And at this stage I suppose there's a lot of social interaction um, and getting to know one another. So they forage in groups adults and juveniles. Just lovely to see these birds, this incredible form of the beak with that wonderful black on the cutting edge of the bill and the shape of it. For me, just a, a wonderful bird to see. Yellow-billed hornbill. Also endemic largely to South Africa. <laughs> 